So he came back to the studio later to tell LeVar about his meeting with the executives, and he ran right back into Lori McBride. She now knew he had signed the contract and felt herself invincible. She was standing outside his studio room door, with her hands behind her back holding a syringe full of drugs, grinning at him. He stepped backward in fright, and she lunged, plunging the syringe into his neck, then threw him into the room. He struggled fiercely, and so she hit him over the head with a frying pan, sending him stumbling into the bed. Then she tied him down with ropes on the bed spread eagle. In horror, he watched her undress. The door creaked open again. It was Lavar, and he held his finger to his lips to shush Brent, so Brent wouldn't give away that Lavar was behind Lori, because she didn't see him. The last thing he remembered was her slowly removing her top, and a split second later Lavar rushed into the room. But Brent had passed out. When he awakened still tied to the bed, Lori and Lavar were gone, but blood was everywhere. I gotta get out of here, he thought. He struggled and bit the ropes about his body to free himself and then got up. A pool of blood led from the bed to the door and all the way out into the hallway. He followed the blood all the way outside, to the far back of the studio, fearing the worst. Lavar stood there, facing the dumpster. Brent trotted up beside him. What happened? Then Brent looked into the dumpster and saw Lori McBride. Lavar had killed her. This is between you, me, and this gallon of gasoline, Lavar said, lighting his match to light up a cigarette. He offered Brent a cigarette. Shaking his head in astonishment, Brent refused. Lavar threw the match into the dumpster, causing the dumpster to erupt into flames. The sound of the flames licking Lori's body filled the air. Putting his arm around Brent's shoulder, Lavar stood there with Brent, listening to the flames, seeing the sparks fly, and feeling the heat from the dumpster. They just stood there, watching the flames. To Brent, feeling the heat and seeing the sparks, the surreal became real. The sounds, the crackling and the sparks leaping from the dumpster against the night sky and the heat from the dumpster, reassured Brent that Lori could torment him or Gale no more. As the night went on, they decided to camp out and wait until the blaze finished, roasting marshmallows and singing a few songs while passing around some beer. Brent felt his spirits lift. After that, Brent figured everything would be all right. Just focus on Gale and try to put this behind you, Lavar said. So for a while, Brent did. Brent even joked, with a happy, carefree air, about having sex on an episode on the Joan Rivers show in November. Yes, he thought, he had finally disposed of that devil, and she would never come back. Let's turn all my negative energy into positive energy, and just focus on Gale.